If you watch Japanese politics, you'll notice that one of the most irritating things that is a characteristic is the revolving door nature of Japanese prime ministers is so rapid sometimes that foreign leaders don't even have a chance to remember who they're dealing with, what their first name is. One of the most beloved prime ministers was Junichiro Koizumi. He survived for five years. He is one of the top prime ministers in terms of length of service. He has a son, Shinjiro Koizumi, who is 34 years old. He was elected to the parliament as a consequence of his father being prime minister, and he is making inroads now. He's still very young, he's getting um, a lot of training, he's cutting his teeth on a lot of tough issues. The issue that is giving him the most trouble now is his appointment as LDP point person on TPP. This is something that's really going to propel him or maybe hinder him a little bit. Michael, he's been kind of in the, the backwoods, beating the drum for TPP. Not everybody likes what he has to say. He's been given an extremely difficult job, which he'll either do fantastically at or will be a complete failure. It's, a, it's, it's an up or down thing. It's not something that you can really say that he did a mediocre job doing. What he's been tasked with is to somehow square the circle, which is to bring the farmers in on the Trans-Pacific Partnership and promise them things that he himself cannot deliver and at the same time be, in a realistic sense, uh, be telling them, you know, you're doomed. Right. And that's a, that's a tough one. And he's been, why has he been given this job? Well, he's been a, basically a, a, a critic of the Abe administration. And one of the, the classic ways that Mr. Abe has been employing of, of dealing with his rivals is giving them the toughest jobs. Mm -hmm. Prominent jobs, jobs that get them on television a lot, and that's no problem but nevertheless, really tough things to do. Well, I think he's really well liked. I mean, he can go to um, uh, conventions and go out to the farms and people are, are clapping. They're so happy to see him. He's young, he's famous, he's, uh, he's an eloquent speaker, but he does have a tough job. And I think the prime minister gave him that tough job. Well, number one, to season him and also um, probably because he would have a better chance of pulling that, that through rather than even a, a, a more... Um, experienced member of the parliament. I, I'd like to say first a few things. I like the fact that you said that Koizumi survived five years in the prime ministership. Yes. It is a brutal job. And we will see if, if Mr. Abe... And the things that he achieved in those five years, I mean, he transformed uh, Kasumi Gaseki. He, yeah, but it's, he, it's a, a lot it's a, he, he was able, he, he had a constitution to be able to handle the stresses of the job and a, a methodology of dealing with those stresses, mm -hmm. which Nobody even now is sure about Mr. Abe. All right. There is always in the scandal press a, a drumbeat of he's not it, feeling well. He's not feeling well. He's got he's got problems with his intestines again, and they're constantly saying who comes next. Mm -hmm. And when you read down the list of who comes next, the net list of names is really short. And this three timer, Koizumi Shinjiro's name comes up all the time. Yes. And that says a few things about Japan, and I, I'd like to, to bring Dr. Snow in on this. Okay, first of all, that you have to be the relative of somebody. Right. In order to be considered... Oh, Bush? <laughs> I mean, please, this is what happens in the U.S. too, in other places. This is part of this corporatization of wait, wait, politics. Wait, I, I noticed you didn't talk about a, a woman. A, a woman like what Hillary Clinton, the spouse of, right? But that's um, a, that's just one generation. I mean, if it went to Chelsea, I could understand that there's but more the of a legacy are, there. The Bushes are multi generation. I mean, you that's know, third. That's three Ariana generations. Ariana Huffington sure. in one of her books it was very funny because she made a line. This was in reference to indicting all this money in politics, and she said, "At the rate that we're going." It's going to be one guy voting for some guy named Bush in right. Florida or wherever. And the, the, the rest of the electorate won't even bother showing up because it will be all about who can you buy and sell right. on, in the marketplace. And this, this sort of reading about Koizumi Jr., I didn't know anything about him until this week. I read that he didn't like raw tomatoes. Right. He was very apologetic about that. I also read in the Japan Times that the women were ooing and eyeing because yes. he's easy on the eyes. 
And I didn't realize that he was this critic of Abe. I don't know how severe of a critic, but uh, it, and I love the part where they, he, he's always being touted as a future prime right. minister. But he is the equivalent in Japanese politics of a newborn baby yes. at the age of 34. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of these politicians are very, very old, from what I understand, getting into politics. They're, they're starting to even be considered for the top leadership when they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s. That's right. So he's very unseasoned. But yeah, as I read about it, it's just, oh yeah, here we go again. It's always somebody, you just pass the baton. And it's no different in Japan as far as the money that's needed to, to really catapult into the upper echelon. Uh, Abe, without his dad's money, Mm -hmm. wouldn't have become president of the LDP. He needed multi-million dollars of uh, payment to write to all the members, right? right? Isn't that how it works? Well, yeah. So you're not going to have somebody of meager means. Uh, Hillary Clinton is not of meager means. <laughs> Barack Obama even is not of meager means. It'll, I wonder if one of his daughters will end up going uh. into politics. I think one of them I just read wants to model. Mm. And Michelle was sort of not as, I don't know which one of them was not as keen on it, but one's very, very tall. They're probably both will be very tall. Well, but. I think Japanese politics is replete with second, third, and fourth generation yeah. politicians. And one of the reasons for that is because um, on and giddy, you're, the duty of um, obligation and and responsibility, those are those can be transferred generationally. So the things that I have done for you and you owe me for that can be transferred to my son. And that happens quite a bit. And when I do something for you, you're a farmer and I pass on and my son becomes a member of the parliament, that that transitions over. But more importantly with, with Koizumi, the younger Koizumi, he was uninterested in politics mm. until after his father was prime minister and I wondered, the, the, yeah. the huge value mm. that this very successful uh, prime minister had is is so so great that it spills over and if if your son wants to be involved grab it by the coattails and, and that's you know, exactly what he did he does have the same attractive hair mm -hmm. yes he does i mean i've heard more talk about sure. koizumi's hair senior and now junior has mm -hmm. uh, really nice hair right too, so. well he also has you know, banks of handlers, Michael. And mm. I think this difficulty that he might be facing with TPP, I, I would vote that he's gonna come come across with flying colors because people are, are banking on him becoming prime minister at some point in the future. And if you can identify that 20 years beforehand or 15 years beforehand, you are ahead of the game. No, I don't think it'll even be 10 years before, mm -hmm. if, before he's prime minister. If the LDP continues as it does. Right. One of the, mm. the things about the age and the, and the seasoning, it you can get around that. And mm. Abe is an example, and many of the more recent prime ministers are examples of how you get around that. You get into politics early. earlier, right. right? Earlier and earlier and earlier. So, Abe got into politics when he was twenty six because his father died, that's and right. emptied up. Uh, and who emptied would up. have been the likely who prime would have been, minister? Who would have the been. one uh, on. The Abe Fellowship that right. I was on, Shintaro, the father. That's who, right. Who I would believe have died of cancer. Yeah, or and he yeah. had been foreign minister, so he was in. He mm -hmm. was on the next step down, and he was going to go make this step up, but became ill. Uh, many of the more recent prime ministers on the LDP side had their fathers die young. Mm -hmm. Now, in the case of Koizumi Jr., his father's still alive, but mm -hmm. his father, at the height of his powers, said, that's it, I'm done, right. I've done the prime ministership, mm -hmm. it's up to you. And I, I would take, uh, uh, I would disagree with your assessment that he wa he had big coattails. I watched that particular election, his first election, uh, very he stumbled. Closely. Yes, he and, did. And, and that's not that that he stumbled. Is that his father left him alone? Mm -hmm. He didn't give them a coin, Kai. He gave him nothing and just said, "If you want to win it, fine, go." Right. And that is incredibly rare. And. That is, in fact, in fact the, the source of his power within the LDP, even though he's only a three-termer right now, because he has built his own machine. He was elected with more votes than anyone else in the country. Mm -hmm. he, and he campaigned in his district in the last election two days only. 
He went mm. all around the country to everybody else's district, right. helping everybody else out. And then for two days was in his own district and completely destroyed, mm -hmm. absolutely, all the challenger. Right. And he's got legs. Yes. And we'll be seeing him within the decade. Yes. Or sooner if Mr. Abe cops out. So in the end, that was really smart on his dad's part to do the sink or swim approach because it, he wasn't just, you see this with celebrities who want to sort of go out on their own and mm -hmm. sometimes they have a different last name and they want to prove themselves. So he did it and he showed that he has some right. gravitas and I, I believe he's, he's different from his dad on the nuclear power issues somewhat. His mm -hmm. father has been very vocal in his opposition to even restarting mm -hmm. the nuclear power plants. And I think his son wants to do it, but more piecemeal, so, right. you know. Well, you know, who knows how much of this was kind of managed. It, it is, you know, the fact that he was a bit of an outlier, and in some situations, the outlier is the one who, who collects all of the attention. But the fact is that um, he, uh, basically Koizumi was a bachelor throughout the entire time that he was prime minister. So he and his wife are estranged, and this Divorced. young son, well, they're, they're divorced, and his son didn't have anything to do with his father until he had finished college. Oh, you're, think, you're thinking about the other son. No, this one was raised by his sister, uh, and was actually sent to the United States to work at CSIS with Michael Green, the uh, big Japan hand there. Uh, who basically managed the relationship between the United States and Japan you know, during the Bush era. And he has apprenticed, on, he apprenticed under Michael Green and learned the ways of politics of Washington and uh, has applied them to his own home district. Mm -hmm. And his home home district has the U.S. 7th Fleet home ported in it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very much a Navy. So it's, there's all kinds of things that make it so that he, even though... He may not be uh, a, allied with a particular faction, may not have any of the usual ways that you pull strings and get that coalition together to get yourself elected prime minister. He has such a firm base in his own district that he can pretty much be outside being doing what he's doing, mm -hmm. uh, going to all the different parts of the country and becoming known there. And that's, that's what either, either Mr. Abe is giving him a poison pill or he's setting him up to be the replacement. Mm. To wrap this up, though, I think um, we, we get on this issue quite a bit that it's not like it used to be. And he's been elected three times. He's very young, 34 years old. I don't know if, you know, probably a, a ministerial portfolio is next in line coming to become uh, prime minister in a, in a short period of time. I don't know. But, you know, we've called it wrong here before because just the the, the lay of the land is, is shifting so much, and uh, the way politics is done is, is very different than you and I were trained to, to understand it to be. Well, I would just like to add, I'd be curious to know what his position is on the security bills, because I continue to marvel that Abe was able to survive that so well, that all those protesters, it just sort of went out into the yes. ether. Uh -huh. You rarely hear anybody refer to the uh, sort of contested uh, process of the of the summer, the long, hot right. uh, summer. And it, it just, Abe has this survivability, and we know he's probably going to be around at least through 2018. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not the scandal press, which I don't read, uh, is questioning his health, he's He's quite remarkable, and he's certainly doing a lot of travel. Uh, that's not to say I agree with everything Abe's doing, but just it it really marvels. I mean, I'm just stunned at how quickly people just kind of moved on from uh, the very uh, strongly negative sort of uh, public opinion on that issue of this new normal. Right. And uh, so it'll be interesting... Um, I'm talking about this as we tape tonight at Temple University, looking at Tokyo 2020 in the context of some of these recent sort of high security alerts. How is Tokyo going to respond to that? A mega event, a spectacle event. So 
As with any political leader, you are one terrorist incident away from truly being tested because they only have to get it right one time. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the government, you got to get it right all the time. Well, that's a little bit of inside baseball here in Tokyo on Fire. Koizumi Jr. is certainly an individual to watch now and in the future. He's very young. He's making great headroads. He's challenged with a very significant task, TPP. He is definitely a politician that you're going to want to watch.